Reliance Jio's much anticipated low cost smartphone, Jio Phone Next, will now be launched around Diwali. The company has been forced to postpone the launch due to a global semiconductor shortage. Maruti Suzuki, the country's biggest car maker, has said that its vehicle production in September would fall by 60% due to the semiconductor chip shortage. Among other companies hit by the shortage is Mahindra & Mahindra, which expects 20-25% to drop in production in September. And the problem might not abate anytime soon. According to global chip design and manufacturing companies, the shortage of chips for mobile devices will continue for at least 6 more months in India. And the outlook for the auto sector is also pessimistic. Clearly, India needs to create a semiconductor ecosystem of its own. However, India's track record in this sphere has been poor. And recent reports suggest that we might not have learned the lesson from past failures. A financial daily recently carried a sobering report which said the following. An Israel-based semiconductor foundry, Tower Semiconductor, has called for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's intervention to fast-track a government proposal for chip manufacturing. The move comes nine months after the government floated an expression of interest for the project. In the letter, the company has said that any delay on the government's part would mean that it would be unable to stay active in the project in the near future. A consortium of Abu Dhabi-based Next Orbit Ventures, with Tower Semiconductor as its technology partner, has pitched for a $3 billion semiconductor fabrication unit in Gujarat's Dholera. One might get the sense that history is repeating itself. In 2007, Intel showed interest in setting up a fab plant, but it chose China and Vietnam due to Indian government's unattractive incentives. In 2013, the government cleared two fab projects, one by JP with an investment of 26,300 crore rupees, and another by Hindustan Semiconductor Manufacturing. Both could not show proof of funding. In 2020, the government floated EOI inviting applications to set up semiconductor fab plants. The response was lukewarm. There has been some movement despite this poor track record. In August of 2021, Tata Group Chairman N. Chandrasekharan announced that the salt to automobile conglomerate was looking to enter semiconductor manufacturing. There is also the crucial question of how much the government wants to subsidize the industry. According to a senior executive of an American chip maker, incentive support of $1 billion per semiconductor manufacturer could attract two to three large investments worth up to 80,000 crore rupees for setting up speciality fabrication units in India. The executive added that the US government was offering incentive support of $50 billion, South Korea of $100 billion, and China around $450 billion. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.